Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Final Fantasy 7. Today, you can go in to this truck over here and rest. Yes, I kind of remember there being a place to rest here. Uh, I just didn't exactly know where. Uh, so yeah, we are good to go now. Uh, is there anything I want to change? Did I give manipulate to anyone? Yes, I did. All right, cool. We're going to need that in the near future. We're also going to want to put on that other uh, enemy skill. We did. Great. Now, we'll be able to learn another match or magic up here, but also there's a laser ability that we can learn, which I believe is gravity elemental? Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, but yeah, in order to find Dime, we need to come up here. This guy will be dead. Oh, so very dead. And we talked to him, we get some words. There's been one shot, too. This one, this one's been shot. So we come up here, and we want to take a right as soon as we come out here. We'll see that guy there. You don't really want to go forward, because you will get lost in the desert. Man, the boss was really in a bad mood today, or was it... One of his better days, I have no idea. And here is a new area. We want to run into two enemies here. One of them is a Death Claw. That was easy, actually. <laughs> the, these were both the enemies that I wanted to see. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say... Oh, can we not learn? Because we already have it on that one. Okay. Well, the more you know there. God damn it. Can you actually just go ahead and manipulate one of them, please? Barrett. Kill that one, please. Thank you! Okay, now we want laser. There you go. And then I guess we can just do a limit break to... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna want to heal. Like, so much. Use that on him. And Barrett, you summon Chokemog, because why not? And you know what, Beta? Screw it. Just to, just to be safe. So I'm gonna need to readjust that strategy then. Because I know if you don't know the limit, then it will learn it on both. Like right now, yeah, we have two that have laser. But we're gonna want that extra materia from him. It's not a huge deal. By the way, uh, eventually it's... I'm gonna be back near calm, so we can just learn it that way as well. But I want to learn it right here, when it's kind of easy. And, uh, hey! And be Blade Beam! Sweet! Alright, well, it's unfortunate that we already have a limp break up here, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, in the long run. Um... Do I want... He's not really weak to anything. Coming up, but the boss I'm talking about, nothing to steal. So uh, I think we're we're good here for what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess leave everything the way it is. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's go up then. We have a limit break for a Barrett, so that should come in handy. Dine, is that you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hope I'll be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen, Dine, I want to... ...get shot, apparently. I can hear her voice. What's that? It's Eleanor's voice. Begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you for forgive me. But what what are you doing in a place? What are you doing in a place like this? 
Why are you killing people who aren't even involved? Why? Why? The hell do you care? You think the dead you understand whys? Is hair and Shinra's excuses gonna make people in Corel understand anything? I don't care about reasons. All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. What's left of it is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. And the people in the cities. <laughs> the city itself. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Corel, Eleanor, Marlene. Don, Marlene, Marlene's still alive. Question mark? I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. I wandered around town for a while. That's when I found her. I found Marlene. She's in Midgard. I mean, I hope not. I'm pretty sure that Mrs. Aerith got her out. Whatever the hell Aerith's mom's called. Uh, let's go together, alright? So, she's still alive. Alright, Barrett. But I guess you and me gotta fight. What? Eleanor's all by herself. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dine, are, are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop, Don! I can't die yet! Oh, yeah? Well, life's been over ever since then. Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Barrett! God, you stay the hell out of it! This is my problem! And it's boss time against Dine. Dine has 1200 HP. He's not exactly that threatening. He can cause some damage to you. Not a lot, though, so you should be fine. Uh, we have a limb break, thankfully. If you really wanted to end this fast, slap enemy skill with uh, beta on it and go to town. I believe we have Chocomog, too, but it's not really that useful here. Uh, Quake? Quake should do a good amount of damage. Use potions if need be. Could have put on the Restore Materia before the fight on Barrett if you really wanted to. Oh, that's a lot better than Quake. S-Mine can be a little bit damaging. That's the same without the crit. We might be able to get another... Uh, we probably should heal. Please heal. Not good! Oh, you bitch. Okay, well, I got a little bit cocky there. I should have healed way sooner. Hey, the game over screen. Failure is an option, isn't it? All right, boss time again, and we are going to be a little bit more cautious this time around. We're not going to go ahead and uh, pretty much let our HP get that low. So you get 1,200. You're about 800 right now. Um, sure, I guess i got to put on Efreet or Shiva with you, huh? Ah, uh, well, we'll get down to half health before I actually, uh... Man, yeah, I should put, definitely put on Shiva or something. Oh, he stopped! Ha! Ah! That is hilarious. Oh, I guess I could've used laser on him, huh? Huh, I guess I could've used laser on him. Does that inflict stop? Huh. I did not know you were susceptible to stop. That is interesting. Thank you, may I have another? I actually want you to, like, use your thing on me again so I can use my limit break, please. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. That's a shame. I forgot I actually had the fast forward on. So we get 600 HP, 55 AP, and there's another silver armlet, which is very good. Back! I didn't just lose my arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Dine, I don't know either, man. Is this the whole... Is this the only way? 
We can resolve this. I told you. I... I want to destroy everything. Everything, this crazy world, even me. What about Marlene? What's gonna happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett, my hands are too stained to carry her anymore. Barrett. Give that pen to Marlene. It was Eleanor's, my wife's, me a memento. All right. So Marlene's already four. But she runs a bar like she's 21, so she's got that going for her. Barrett, don't you ever, don't you ever make her cry. Dine. 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 So here we discover that Marlene is Barrett's adopted daughter. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that one's not exactly a surprise, but they never really mentioned it up until this point in the game. I guess they were kind of saving it for like a surprise, or maybe they just didn't even want to bring it up. Still, Don, eh, me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't, ca I shouldn't carry Marlene either. Yeah, I mean... He, you both kind of went down a path of destruction. Your path, Barrett, led you to form a resistance group and go after the Shinra, and yeah, you've killed a lot of innocent people with your terrorist attacks and all that jazz, but Dine kind of went even further off the beaten path with that and kind of just went and killed anyone from the looks of it. In, even remotely, well, does not even connect to the Shinra, just anyone that pissed them off or was in his way in some form or other, so I guess it's going to be a weird thing to say you're the greater, or you're the lesser of two evils here when it comes to raising Marlene. At least at your end, you want to save the planet, and sure, you're taking some sketchy means to get there, or were taking some sketchy means to get there. Dine wanted to destroy everything, so he definitely should not be the one raising Marlene, because there wouldn't be nothing to raise, unfortunately. <laughs> you want something? I want to go up. <laughs> like I told you before, I mean, if you actually came here and talked to me, but you didn't, uh, you gotta get the boss's permission, and then when they'll choke about. Dine's got his reasons he can't speak. So I got this instead. But yeah, boo! I want to go up. Uh, right. Did you did you kill Dine? He must have, or he'd never be holding that. So Dine's dead. Maybe now the place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? Uh, he knows enough, dog. Right. I mean, no, I I don't know anything. Sorry. Then will you get us up there? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. Or out of here, actually. I already told you the only way you get uh, the only way to get out of here, that's the window chocobo race, and that's held up there in the gold salsa. And only one race can go up at a time. Say what? No, no, no. Really, if, even if you threaten me, the rules rule. I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. Okay, okay. I'll let one go up there. After that, you got to deal with Dio. All right then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. I'll re-up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. Right, Cloud. Oh, pick up. <laughs> we'll be waiting and rooting for you. Cloud's like, alright. Sure. Have you decided? Alright, all you need now is a manager to register and get a chocobo. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny, but there's no better manager in the races. That's so rude. <laughs> I don't exactly know what she's supposed to look like. She looks like a normal person. 
Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. Maybe I should see, like, concept art of her or something. All right, then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator. That's it'll fill you in on the details. Yeah, she must have, like, a weird concept art or something, because she looks fine. Huh, <sighs> so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing, there are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for the fame, some people compete for the money, some only for glory. And then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Alright. Um, first press the touchpad to either, uh, to choose either auto or manual. Give the no. This lets you control the chocobo yourself or let it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. Then you're stuck. But most of the chocobos have a mellow. I uh, have are mellow, and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, press uh, square the speed up and X to slow down. But if you go faster than a chocobo can handle, it will quickly lose its stamina unless you're holding R1 and R2. Uh, use the directional pad buttons to move the chocobo left and right to get a boost and circle to get a boost of speed. But this makes your stamina run out faster. Uh, some chocobos are bad tempered and can't pace themselves, so they'll lose their stamina quickly. Those chocobos should be set to manual to slow them down. Finally, some advice on the restlessness. Since uh, once the first and second chocobo cross the line, press the option buttons to end the race. I mean, I'm gonna save beforehand because I have a bad track record on this sort of stuff. What, y'all wanna stare at me? You new? Hi, Joe. Hi, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Thank you! The guy downstairs was an asshole. Let me introduce you to Cloud. This is Joe, one of our top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He'd only been down there a day and already made it up here. What? Huh, I see. So why'd you get put down there? Ah, oh, sorry, we're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting, I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Then, until we meet again, Cloud. He's actually a really good chocobo racer. You'll, uh, if you do chocobo racing in the future, you'll have to deal with him, and he can be kind of an ass uh, when it comes to racing, unless your chocobo is really high level. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the chocobo. Uh, you just wait here for a while and get this Ramu material. Oh god, there's no save point. I thought there was a save point here. Oh, that's not good. Was I How? I remember saving before doing this. Why? Let me out. Why do I remember there being a save point here? I can't even go to the menu, but you want to get that Ramu materia, like Ifrit, if you just ignore it, you'll lose it forever. And that sucks. And if you want it, like if you want the Master Summon and you missed one of them already, you're screwed. You have to start over. Cloud. Hi. Thanks for waiting. I've registered you for the next race. This is the chocobo I prepared for myself. Uh, for your, uh, I prepared myself. So he should do well. So remember how to ride. Got it. Then good luck. All right. So we want manual. Whoops. There we go. Come on. Get out of the way, you son of a bitch. I actually don't think I've ever lost this race before. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever lost this race. Ever? Just keep an eye on the map. Make sure we're not getting caught up on. We got a pretty good lead, actually, so let's just stop and gain some stamina there. And then speed up a little bit more. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're gonna win. We're too far ahead now. Uh, there is a slight strategy where you hold the R1 and R2 buttons and they regra regain stamina a little bit. Um, it's not that much, but in this race, it really, really helps you get ahead and stay ahead. In the future, it really just depends on how well you rage a chocobo. Well, that was a landslide of victory. I wonder what happens if you lose. I hope it's not a game over. That would suck. 
like hardcore. Oh, option button. There we go. Congratulations, uh, Choco Champion. You're now free. Oh, uh, yeah. The owner told me they gave you this letter to you if you won. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. I know you earned it. I heard about dying from Esther, and now that you won, I'm granting you and your friends a full pardon and setting you all free. And by the way of apology, I have a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? Cloud, this is great! The assistant manager stopped by and dropped off a buggy! Now we can go over deserts and rivers, no problem! Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Huh, the letter continues. P.S. I recently met Sethroth. I bet he... Uh, I'll bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Why didn't you get his autograph? He was heading towards Gongaga, south of the river. Sethroth? I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you again. And... Sure, we'll keep the party as is. I'm going to want to change it up in a little bit. Uh, buggies can cross shallow rivers and deserts. Dope. Now. Do we have this on? We have manipulate on and... Steal. I need both of these on. And I also need the save just in case this thing kills me. <laughs> Alright, let's roll around this desert and get an extremely powerful enemy skill in the same level of beta. It's Aqualung. After this point in the game, uh, beta's free game pretty much. These are not the enemies I'm looking for. Yeah, so, yeah. At this point, I'm kind of not expected to have beta, but... You can have beta, and Aqualung is going to be another one that's extremely powerful. So you want you, you can use it as is. The cost of it, of course, is still there. So if you can't afford to cast it, and then it's it's just gone. It's, it's just gone. But now that we have a buggy, we can go back to the other uh, area and learn a bunch of other. Well, two other. Well, no, just one other on the other side of the continent. Uh, which is White Wind, which we're going to do in a little bit. Well, maybe not this episode, but next episode. I'll learn beta and all that jazz off screen, though. Because I got to go all the way back through the missile. Like, beta, flamethrower, level 4 suicide, chocobuckle. I'll learn that off screen on the way back to, uh... Well, wherever the hell we were going. Um, yeah, what the hell is it called? <laughs> Mithra Mines, calm. There we go. When I go back there. If you didn't talk to any of the NPCs in calm, you could have uh, saved talking to them until you had Yuffie to get her affection up. It's really not really that important. But, hey, lightning leveled up. Hey, we have lightning too. Sweet. Or bolt too. Um, yeah, we need to heal up just a tad. There you go. I really want to learn, like, Cure, uh, cure to. Hey, alright. Let's see, we want to manipulate you. You shouldn't be too bad, and hopefully we'll get you on the first go. Oh! Sweet baby Jesus. Now we just need you to have your turn. And Aqualung on all of us. That's a pretty damaging spell, you're not wrong. Um, so we want... So this is what we're gonna do. Aqualung... No, no. Aqualung there. And then Aqualung. It's a little bit more expensive than, uh... Than Beta. Maybe Grand Bomb just in case. There you go. Alright. It's about the same in terms of, like, damage multiplier as beta, but, uh, it's water elemental, which, or ice elemental, eh, it's water elemental, I think, yeah, which not many people are too weak to. Uh, next one, well, I should probably heal, I can't really heal, I got no, <laughs> I got no, uh, MP, well, do I have any tents? I don't think so. 
Ah, that's fine. Uh, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. I have potions, don't I? Yeah, alright. That's probably not good enough, actually. Let's go ahead and use a high potion down here. And next up, we want Big Guard, which is going to be down here. Let's see, is this the encounter? This is, in fact, the encounter. So, again, we need to manipulate them. Uh, I don't think you needed to manip manip uh, manipulate the harpy. Ah, crap, baskets. Come on. Yeah, I don't think we needed to manipulate the harpy, but I think it's just easier to do so. God damn it, you have the, the animation focus, too. There we go. And big guard on them. And then you can use this. And sure, why not? We don't really need the limit break on her, but at the same time, just probably kill him, right? Yeah, okay. Now, big guard casts, well, all the guards on you. The uh, oh, ice, ice leveled up too, as well. Nice. Uh, it casts, uh, you know, Shell, Protect, though they're called Wall and... What the hell else are they called in this game? Um... Oh, and Haste. Yeah, Barrier and Barrier and Haste on everyone. It's really good. <laughs> it's actually really fantastic. So yeah, we get there... And I'm actually going to probably switch this over to Cloud. So we can learn Flamethrower and uh, Beta. And White Whim's, White Whim's party targeting, so... I'll actually show you how to get back to the other side of the continent. So you just drive into here. And then you can come up here and go back to the boat. It will cost you money to go back. You just got to go talk to this guy down here. I'll actually learn White Wind 2 today as well. Sure. Pay up. It's 100 gil to go back. We're actually stowing away, which is kind of funny because we're doing it both ways. And then you go through this little animation. You have this nice speed up for the PlayStation 4 and I think all the other consoles. Actually, no, I know all the other consoles as well. And this will put you on Upper Junon. Though, there is a way to quickly get down from Upper Junon, which also I think costs some money. But we'll come back here and talk to this bad Larry. Sure. Oh, it's free! Dope! Oh, god damn it, I'm an asshole. I'm well, not an asshole, but an idiot. I was supposed to. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fine. I'm an asshole and an idiot for selecting that one. Uh, yeah, you should have selected outside Juno. You know. But instead, I guess I'll show you the long way, which is going down this hall, in here, and then selecting this. And that will bring you all the way to the bottom, to the, the lower Junon. I think it's, yeah, I think it's just called Lower Junon. The weird caution. Weird, yeah, just a weird caution being written there. And you talk to that guy to go back up there as well. But because we rode on our buggy, we now have our buggy. So, let's go ahead and try to find this white wind. I really should have rested at an inn, you're not wrong. Let's, uh, let's see. Are we going to get him right off the bat? We are! Nip! Alright, that was easy. So, white wind does really good amount of uh, healing here. It costs a lot. But it's based off your current HP, so it's actually fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and not have any... Huh. Yeah, this is the gravity spell, but it also does stop, apparently, too. Um, we have, like, no MP at all, which is kind of funny. Do I do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off combat, just so I can show you this right now. There is another cave over here. We just... Where the hell's the exit? Ah, oh, there it is. Come over here. We want to go to that cave. 
We actually have to get out of here first, which is, you know, circle. In here is going to be an old man. He will give you treasures based off how many combat or how many battles you've been in. You've already fought 133. So if I get into three more battles, he will give me, uh, what the hell is it called? A mithril? Yeah, he'll give me mithril, which we'll need for uh, a level four limit break later. If I have even numbers, like if I had 44, he will give me a bolt ring, which is pretty dope. I'm going to battle three battles next time. Ah, uh, no, let's do it now. I'll use an ether. There we go. Probably should just use the 10, but I'm going to do three battles right now. And I will see you guys momentarily. All right, that should be 133. So, you... Who are you? I guess it's fate that I woke up and met you. And we get Mithril. All right, that will help us get Aerith's level 4 limit break in the future. Uh, we're nowhere near that right now. We're not even near getting her level 2 one, I think. I should probably put her in the party. Actually, I am going to be putting her in the party. And, uh... In the next area or two... Well, the next area, guaranteed. I don't know about the, the second one, but I do need to work on her... Uh, her kill count. I might... Yeah, I might try doing that in between episodes on the way back, because I'm, I'm going to probably get into at least 11 battles on the way to and from the Mithril Mine and the Chocobo Farm. So I should be able to get the Bolt Ring as well. But I got to learn Beta, I got to learn Chocobuckle, I got to learn Flamethrower. So that's going to be off screen, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. If you're watching the live stream, head to twitch.tv slash Please give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.